the hits and the scramble, and I feel like he's going to play a little more defensive. You already see a little more spacing. And there you go, that counter hit meat is guaranteed follow up no matter what. Nice, he goes for the big combo. All right, it's a medium combo, but it's very good. So it's nice damage, consistent stuff. I like to see it. Butaku is playing Pi. Pi is a very tricky character. In this particular match, you're going to see one of the features of VF that's really, really, really radically different than a lot of games. Even though the 3D games that have weight classes, the weight class in VF is very dramatic. You are going to see Pi fly straight up off the ground, way higher than other characters do. As a result of that, you can get way more damage on a character like her, a character like Aileen or El Blaze, who are super lightweight. These characters go way up, and they take a lot of damage. You can score lots of extra hits before you bounce them off. So one of the nice things that you're going to see Hub take advantage of is every time that he knocks her up, he's probably going to get bonus damage on her. Um, one of the nice things uh, I can do, though, you might say to yourself, well, what's going on? Why does she have that? Whoa, what, yo, great, great Alice SSB donated $100. Big donations. Big Damn, donations. Damn, he donated to Alice SSB. Donated a ton last week, too. Thank you so much. Yeah, he, uh, he definitely went in. Oh, VF fans, I love it. So, yeah, no, um, one of the nice things that Pi can do, just so that you don't feel like, oh, no, what is, what, why does she have that weight class disadvantage? She has, like, a lot of different frames on her moves. She's a lot faster with a lot of things. Her damaging, her more damaging pokes and launches tend to be more effective in more situations. She has stances, so she can mix you up off of a lot of different things. And her, you know, she has a lot of options. So the character, the way that the, the balance kind of ends up working is that even though the super lightweights take a lot more damage, they tend to have other features that will make up for it. However, on a stage like this, this is very difficult. This is what you're going to see in all these taco stages. There are two of them. They're identical. You got the red and the blue. So we have the uh, nacho cheese and the cool ranch. Right now we're on nacho cheese. And the taco stages are very difficult for a lightweight character to play on. Um, just because you, you want to have a little more space. And lightweight characters tend to get hit into the wall pretty badly. Pi does have extra wall damage off of a lot of her stuff. So you might be able to see Joe Taco really take advantage of the wall. And remember that. Oh, there you go with some pushback moves. Remember that you can also pressure people with that with the rings on the edge. Because even though it's a taco and it looks much longer one way than the other, it's still quite grand, even on the ring outside. So it's pretty easy to force a ring out situation. You see Hubs going for the pounce attacks there? That's because he's very confident there's not gonna be a roll. If there is a roll, that definitely gets the challenge. But he's going for it a couple of times because I think that he feels that Jotaku is willing to take that extra damage rather than have to put himself in a mix of switch. That's actually a very wise move with um, a character like Jeffrey who's able to really apply a lot of pressure to you um, if you tech roll. Nice forward throw from Jotaku. The forward throw is a really good option. He goes for the back throw option. Now all of a sudden the wall pressure and the ring out pressure is all against Pi. This is very good ring awareness. Oh, he just gives it up though. The down throw, the down attack puts her right back into the center. So you see right there. Oh, okay, he gets it. No tech on the back throw. I was gonna say if if he didn't land that throw, he really would have been feeling the pressure at the fact that he didn't he threw her away from the edge of the ring. You always have to be keeping things like that in mind um, when you're playing this game. A lot of characters have reposition changes on their throws. Nice, he's going for the throw again. Now that's actually an easy break. Um, so if I'm if I see that Hub likes to do it, I'll definitely break it, you know. So that's something that Joe Taku can think about. Goes for a small wall combo, still gets some bonus damage. This has actually like been a really good showing of a different style of Jeffrey. So you can see automatically that you can play VF and you can really play many different styles, even on the same character. We have two other Jeffreys in this, including myself, and all four of us will be playing differently. So that's pretty good. Um, very cool, guys.